The morning after your egg retrieval is the all-important phone call. We give you your FERT report. You may have made 10 eggs, but not all 10 eggs became 10 embryos. Only mature eggs can fertilize and become embryos. So the next morning after retrieval, we're gonna tell you how many embryos we're working with. Following this, the embryos need to grow. They're in an incubator, left alone for several days. Their bath gets changed on day three, and they get ready to be in a bath that's conducive to growing further to what we call a blastocyst. A blastocyst is the stage of the embryo on the fifth or sixth day that usually arrives at the uterus, in vivo. We like to transfer embryos on day five. Day five is when the uterus is expecting to see a blastocyst. On the morning of day five, we will check to see how many embryos have become blastocysts. We may have started with 10 eggs, eight of those may have been mature, six of those may have fertilized, and on the morning of day five, we may have four blasts. That's really good. Which of these four blasts are we gonna transfer? Well, we're gonna look to see if they look nice. Are the cells in even number? Is there fragmentation? Has it expanded? These are the words we use to describe embryos. Sometimes genetic testing is also done, and that will tell us which ones are genetically normal. Please watch our video to learn about pre-implantation genetic screening. If we have not done genetic screening, we'll plan on transferring on day five. How do we decide how many embryos go back in your uterus? Some of it depends on the embryos. How many do we have and what do they look like? A lot of it depends on your age. If you're 25, it's a whole lot different than if you're 45. Some of it depends on how long you've been trying to get pregnant. Is this your first IVF attempt, your second, or your third? We take all these variables into account when we choose how many embryos to transfer. It's a decision we make together. Thank you.